Welcome to Ransomware Detection with Sysmon and Splunk. My name is Jane and Lyons. I will be presenting this discussion today. I'm the creator and editor for CybersecuritySupportDesk.com. Okay, so let's dive right in. The topics we'll be covering today, we'll begin with an introduction and I will go into the ransomware kill chain, discuss ransomware detection strategies via Sysmon and Splunk, including processes, protocols, endpoint behavior, vulnerable systems. Then I will take a look at ransomware distributed operations and discuss what's next. What is ransomware? Okay. Ransomware has been on the rise in a big way since 2015. Okay. Briefly, in regards to its evolution, there is basically pre-2015 ransomware and then post-2015, when ransomware exploded in scale, sophistication, and number of success successful attacks each year. Specifically, in 2016 is when ransomware escalated to the cybersecurity threat that every business owner and corporate executive fears the most. That's also when ransomware evolved from targeting individuals to targeting businesses and to targeting vital industries such as healthcare and transportation and large corporations. Ransomware, of course, is a form of cyber extortion where a machine or a network is compromised and the, the user gets a ransom note on their screen letting them know that all their files have been encrypted and they won't have can't won't have access until their files until a ransom is paid usually in untraceable bitcoin currency okay so although the methods of transmission are expanding ransom most often capitalizes on poor hygiene poor security hygiene Okay, ransomware is big business. It's a billion dollar industry. And I anticipate ransomware continuing to evolve rapidly in terms of its brazenness, sophistication, and target selection. It is conceivable that ransomware could evolve in the next few years from disabling databases to disabling industrial control systems and entire infrastructures electronic payment systems, you name it. Just like it evolved from small individual targets to large corporations, ransomware will likely evolve from holding computers and servers hostage to more critical infrastructure, holding cities and nations hostage to demand larger and larger payments. Mm -hmm. So currently Ryuk, Maze, and Sodanokibi are dominant, but there are numerous others to watch out for. Currently, there are more than 100 known ransomware families. Okay. However, at the moment, one-fifth of all ransomware attacks are with Ryuk family of malware, okay, uh, according to FireEye. So why endpoint security? Okay. Endpoint logs complement network visibility to give insight into malicious activities, such as malware execution, an insider performing an unauthorized activity, a compromised or vulnerable server computer, rogue devices, endpoints not following protocol, or an attacker dwelling in your network. It's important to capture this data from both servers and workstations and all operating systems, Windows, Linux, Mac. 
-hmm. It just takes data missing from one endpoint to create a massive hole in your security posture. If your SOC is simply responding to alerts, the adversary is likely several steps ahead of you. The data generated in your Windows logs provide critical telemetry for early detection. That's why the first half of the MITRE matrix is endpoint focused and the second half network focused because all infections begin with and can be traced back to an endpoint. Okay. So as you see on our screen here, we have endpoint telemetry provides an essential layer of data. Okay, malware execution, insider threats, and unauthorized activity. Okay. Okay. So Ryuk ransomware, the dominant strain adversaries are using to infect networks these days, has an average TTR of five days, 17 hours. TTR is time to ransomware. So that's the time from when you first recognize an intruder in your network to when Ryuk is dropped on the system. Okay. The average dwell time in 2019, according to FireEye, was 72 days, 12 hours. That's how long an adversary or an intruder is in your network before an investigation begins. That's more than two months. Just imagine what they could be doing for two months inside your network, okay? That's why endpoint security is critical. Okay, well, why Splunk? Okay, as you see here, Splunk is perfect for businesses and organizations of all sizes and resources. Splunk provides that single pane of glass at, at scale, available to the analyst or business owner in real time. Okay, it is where you can centrally manage, view, and manage events. Okay. Security analysts, large corporations, SMBs, SOHO businesses, and individuals work remote, working, re and individuals working remotely all need to be able to centrally view and analyze events. Splunk can be used to help defend against ransomware and malware, as well as provide early warning of a ransomware infection, such as the WannaCry infection or Petya, not Petya. Okay. Using de detection techniques that I will discuss in this video. Okay. So relying solely on the, on the protections security technologies provide without investigating the data provided is not sufficient in the modern cyber threat landscape. Okay. The purpose of collecting data is to transform it into information, meaningful information, that you can make critical business and security decisions based upon. Okay. Splunk is simple to install, easy to manage, and quite user-friendly for both the novice and expert. Splunk sim simplifies the analysis of logged security events from all your endpoints and security appliances to provide that essential broader context and situational awareness about what is happening in your network. Okay. Splunk lets you know where all your endpoints are and what they are doing 24-7. You can monitor a single endpoint with a Splunk free license, okay, for a, for a small office, home office, okay, or deploy Splunk for hundreds of endpoints in a corporate environment. Okay. Splunk is a cutting edge and cost-effective security platform that is flexible, scalable, and manageable for businesses of all sizes. Okay, to provide that central view of your entire cybersecurity posture. The big picture. So what do you need for that central view of your entire cybersecurity posture? Well, you need data from four sources, from these four sources. Okay, for optimal correlation and contextual analysis of your security posture. 
Okay. So the four data sources that you need to be that you should be ingesting into Splunk for a, for the full cybersecurity picture are your network, a view of your network logs, like this could be firewall logs, your network monitoring logs like Zeek or Bro, um, your endpoint, endpoint telemetry with, for example, Sysmon or your Windows event logs, authentication data, okay, from your cloud, cloud provider, your cloud IAM, identity and access management, or Windows Active Directory, and you need visibility into your web activity. You need to be monitoring your web activity. This can be from your next gen, next generation firewall logs or proxy logs. Okay, so the relevant logs, thus the relevant logs are your Windows event logs, Sysmon. Okay, Sysmon turns events logs into XML event logs in Splunk, but okay. Uh, your update, update logs. Your Windows registry, uh, perhaps custom scripts, firewall logs, also your IDS, IPS data. Okay, Vulnerabil vulnerability management data, that's your Nessus, Qualys, or maybe an open source vulnerability scanner. Okay, and data from backups, from your backups if you have it. Okay, but the more data in Splunk, the better for early detection of ransomware that may thus far have evaded your defenses. Remember, it's five days TTR, that's on average, five days to detect and remediate a ransomware attack before all your files are encrypted. Could be more, could be less. Okay. The good news, though, is that every action an, adver an adversary takes in your network and on your endpoints is a potentially observable and should be an observable event that is fed into your into your SOC or into a Splunk instance that you're running on an endpoint. Okay, Splunk is perfect for real-time correlation of security log events into a suspicious chain of events. That's what we're looking for: is that chain of events indicating a ransomware attack in progress.